Of that roughly 70% of your car's fuel that is wasted, about 85% of that goes out as heat. Exhaust systems, grills, ducts, radiators, coolant, plumbing, and fans, they're all over your car just to get rid of heat. But heat is just energy. Why waste it? Why not convert it? That's what car makers are seeking to do via two main strategies. The first is around the thermoelectric effect. That occurs when connected materials react differently to heat, creating an electronic differential between them that generates current. Spacecraft have long used this to generate electricity from the sun's rays. An example is BMW's work on thermoelectric generators that capture the heat in the car's exhaust system to make electricity in a solid state manner. A 7 Series, for example, needs up to 1,000 watts of electrical power while running. Any of that demand you can offload from the alternator saves gas. Researchers at Boise State University, along with Robert Bosch, Honda, and the Oak Ridge National Labs, are working under an $8 million federal grant to create better thermoelectric generators by using nanomaterials. They hope to improve vehicle energy efficiency by a solid 5%. Now, another main thrust is turbines. Ford is keen on using exhaust heat to warm up fluid that creates vapor pressure to spin a turbine generator and make electricity, sort of like a mini nuclear power plant, without the nuclear part. BMW's Turbo Steamer project is similar, and they say it'll be on the market in around six years. They're seeing up to a 15% improvement in test vehicles, but are hoping to get a solid 10% in the real world on longer, steady drives. Now, the real keys to all these technologies are threefold. First, prove their efficiency gains in real-world driving. Next, get the size of the mechanisms down so they fit in small cars, where efficiency is often more prized than larger ones. And of course, manage the cost, so the fuel savings are not overshadowed by the price of the tech. More car tech demystified right now at CNETOnCars.com. Click on CarTech 101.